Many of you know in 2020, I had double jaw surgery. I documented the healing process and also my struggle to accept how my face looks since it happened. Now, nine months later, I feel much more healed and wanted to share where I'm at at this point to help anyone else going through this. Today we're talking all about jaw surgery, double jaw surgery specifically, which I got nine months ago. I still get a ton of DMs and messages about it. So I will go through everything I haven't really talked about quite yet. And also where I'm at now, nine months later, if you know anything about the surgery, you know it is a pretty long recovery. It can take up to two years to fully, fully recover. So I'll talk about what it's like at the nine month mark. That's where I'm at now. And if it's worth it, and all of that. First, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, BetterHelp, which I think is the perfect fit for this video because yes, this surgery, it is a physical change, but I found it very difficult mentally emotionally really it was hard and I think a lot of the people that are watching this video are considering getting the surgery um, it definitely doesn't hurt to talk to a professional about what you're going through emotionally if you're having a hard time with it like I did if you haven't heard of BetterHelp it's basically a website and an app where you can do online therapy if there's something that is interfering with your happiness or stopping you from achieving your goals BetterHelp can help you with this. It doesn't have to be having a surgery, but I do think in my specific case, this would have helped me, which is kind of why I bring it up in this video. So it doesn't have to be, you know, jaw surgery. It can be anything. BetterHelp will assess your needs and help match you with your own licensed professional therapist. So it's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling that's done securely online. So there's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus therapists that they have in their network. So they have therapists with expertise that you might not have locally in your area, and it's also available worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll get thoughtful, timely responses. And you can also do video and phone calls weekly. So you get both the messaging and the weekly video and phone call. It's more affordable actually than traditional offline counseling and there is financial aid available. You can visit betterhelp.com Shelby I'll have it linked down below to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash Shelby. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring and let's get into everything you wanna know now about jaw surgery. So if you haven't seen my other videos on this, this is what my bite was like before. It was an edge to edge bite that when I was younger was an underbite that was kind of fixed with braces, but my back teeth did not align, which made chewing very difficult, some jaw pain, and my front teeth were wearing down. So this is kind of just how it all looked before I had the surgery. I remember being so nervous before I got the surgery to the point where like every few days I would like start crying because I was just so scared of it. You know, you don't really know what to expect. And the photos of people after the surgery are honestly kind of horrifying. If you've seen them, they are pretty terrifying. And I will say they look scarier than it actually is when you're going through it for in my experience. This is how I looked right after the surgery. As you can see, not nearly as scary looking as those photos. It wasn't until the next day that it was, you know, pretty um, swollen and I guess kind of scary looking. But weirdly, when it's you in this situation, it doesn't really feel scary. The next thing I'll talk about is jaw pain. I haven't had a lot of jaw pain since I've had surgery like really none. There have been a couple times where I'll hear just weird clicking sounds I'd never heard before. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's not at all painful. I did have some jaw pain before the surgery, but yeah, haven't really had that since. And I will say the surgery itself, waking up, wasn't as painful as I expected. I wasn't in any pain at all when I woke up. I was really nervous about that. I felt very calm and peaceful when I woke up. If you look at the footage, I feel like I had like almost a smile on my face a little bit. Like I was, you know, the pain medication worked because they mess with your nerves so much, the nerves like temporarily die, like they don't die, but they don't work for a couple of months or longer in my case. So you don't feel anything. Even if there wasn't pain medication in certain areas, it would just be numb. So that's kind of reassuring to know, like you're really not gonna feel 
pain when you wake up because the nerves got messed with and they're just not really gonna be working. As long as you, you stay on it with that pain medication, it's gonna be okay. Um, but it is just very, you know, alarming to see your face like that. I think it looks worse than it actually feels. It was, you know, it was really painful actually when the pain medication would wear off and I was only allowed to take it every, I think, six hours, but after like three, it hurt. It hurt a lot. Later at the one week post-op appointment, my doctor told me that I could have staggered it with another type of medication. So if you have that problem, call your doctor because they'll probably just let you stagger it with something else to help that. I wish I knew that. All in all, it wasn't as painful and scary as I thought it would be. The photos of this surgery are just so scary looking. If you've watched my videos for a while, you probably know that for months after, I really did not like how my face looked and I was kind of regarding the surgery, even though it worked and my bite was better, I kind of thought I like ruined my face. I mean, that's a little dramatic, but I, I would get comments saying I did and that, that sort of thing. I just, I really was not comfortable with how it looked for quite a while. So this is a really common thing with double jaw surgery. I've seen a lot of other people talk about having a sort of identity crisis after they have this surgery, but it's basically just really hard to accept what your face looks like after because it does change a little bit in almost every case your face is gonna look a little different you know in my experience i felt like my face looked worse i felt like it looked different and it was just like kind of devastating like really hard to deal with i didn't realize that it's just kind of a part of the process you're still healing here's kind of a look of how my healing process was month by month kind of an estimate some of these might be off by a couple of weeks but you can see it was more than just a couple months to get back to looking sort of normal it was really by month five and six that i felt like i looked better so this was about two months after and i remember here being so concerned my face was just gonna look like this forever in reality i was still pretty swollen a couple months later but now i can really go side by side and say yeah it looks similar but i mean i think nine months later it does look way better than it did two months after like just a lot less puffy and here is six months later where it was yeah you know, like a little bit swollen but not really that much at all um like some days it felt more than others if i had a new invisalign tray in but you know things were looking pretty good then i would go on youtube after the surgery and compare myself to other people that were also at the six week points or the two month points. And it honestly is pointless to even do that because people just heal totally differently is what I learned. One thing I've noticed is the people that are going on YouTube and posting updates about how they're doing six weeks later or whatever, generally are the people that are healing really fast and really well and everything's going great. So if you're comparing yourself to those people, you know, you're not seeing a large population of people who are healing as slow as you might be. You're probably gonna be pretty swollen for at least two months. And then even three, four, five months after, you're still more swollen than you would be. I found that my face was kind of frozen. I could not move this area for two and a half, three months. Even now, like I said, it still feels a little weird. If I yawn or if I smile really big, these muscles kind of quiver a little bit because they're still kind of trying to wake up. And even here as I'm talking, you might be able to notice that one half of my face is moving a lot more than the other. I've noticed that the left side of my face has been healing just slower, like slower to get that movement back than the other side. I'm not too worried, I think it'll come back Fully, but it just takes a while. It takes a very long time for muscles to heal, even longer than bone, my doctor told me. You just have to be patient with it. That is how it is. I remember being really worried at month two, month three, month four, that this is how I was just gonna look now. And I really didn't like it because I was pretty swollen and my face was pretty frozen. And my doctor even said, yeah, this is pretty much how you're gonna look now. And I look back on that and I'm like, no, it wasn't. In a way, yes, it's kind of how I looked, but I would say I look much more back to myself and kind of how I, how I did before, less swollen than I did at two months and four months after. One thing I will say with swelling is there are a lot of remedies to get rid of swelling and most of them I found didn't really do much. 
Icing your face is something that will help only really the first week. I tried turmeric, Arnica gel, Arnica pills, so many random different lotions and things to try and get rid of it. The one thing that did help was doing lymphatic drainage massages to my face. And this is something you can do for free at home. It's pretty easy, it takes like 10 minutes. Basically what you do is press this pressure point, this kind of pressure point, right here five times and right here five times, all these five times. And then you kind of go like that, like that, like that like that and like that. I see a difference when I do this. I'll do half my face and I'll take a photo and be like, wow, that side does just look more lifted, awake, less puffy, less swollen throughout the day. That's the one thing I felt like really made a difference. Definitely use moisturizer when you do this. You know, you're gonna like, it doesn't feel good if you don't. So that did help, although I would say don't do that until you're like three months after or else it'll hurt. I talk about the most just how it's made my face look because it's the one thing that really bothered me about this surgery. Like the chewing, it quickly fixed and the jaw pain, like I wasn't really dealing with that anymore. The one thing that was like really just bothering me was how I looked after it. I think getting the surgery, it's different and you don't like it at first, but you either come around to it or the swelling goes away and you realize like it does look better. I'm not sure if my face actually looks better than it did a couple months ago or if I'm just more used to it now and adjusted to it. I really don't know, but I don't think it even matters. Like as long as I feel good about it, then like we're good. And some days I don't really feel like good about it still, but most of the time I think it's fine and no one even notices. We're all our own worst critic. So if you remember before I had the surgery, I didn't have a full on underbite, but I had an edge to edge bite where my back teeth didn't align at all. Like they didn't touch, only my front teeth could touch. So when I would chew, it was very difficult. It was always exhausting chewing anything and I never could really chew things that thoroughly. Now at this point, I do feel like I can chew so much more thoroughly. I am not exhausted, like my jaw isn't tired after I eat. It just is easier, honestly. It's a lot easier to chew. One thing I will say is my front teeth still have a hard time cutting things, but my back teeth and everything, they, they work a lot better. The bite, it works better now. It's, it's gotten where I, you know, I kind of want it to be. It's not 100% perfect quite yet because I am finishing everything up with Invisalign. It's, you know, night and day from how it was before I got the surgery. I can really chew so much better. There are a few things that are still a bit difficult to chew. Anything that is really hard and that you have to apply a lot of pressure to eat, for example, a carrot. I just don't eat carrots <laughs> right now because it, it kind of hurts a little bit. It's a little sensitive and I can just feel kind of almost at like the root of the tooth in a way, sort of that jaw area, but it's not really comfortable and it feels like that isn't just completely healed. But most things that are crunchy, I can eat. I can eat chips. I would say, you know, I was eating chips at like two or three months after. like. Once I was cleared to eat foods that were chewy, I would just attempt it. <laughs> like The last thing I'll talk about is Invisalign because after you get jaw surgery, you do have to either get braces, full metal braces or Invisalign. And I was luckily able to get Invisalign. A lot of people actually have to get braces before and after jaw surgery. It's pretty rare to be able to get the surgery without having braces before and just having Invisalign after. Note that I did have braces when I was in high school, but that was so long ago. Because I didn't have that severe of an underbite and my teeth were still pretty straight, my surgeon and orthodontist both thought I was a good candidate to just do the surgery first and Invisalign after. And it has worked out pretty well so far. I'm not fully done with the Invisalign, so I can't really like fully speak to it, but I haven't really had any issues with it. So after you have the surgery, of course you're gonna notice your bite fits a lot better, but mine wasn't, you know, perfectly together because they have to make little adjustments so that everything actually fits together. Invisalign is an awesome way to go if you can. The only reason I really was able to is because my orthodontist knew of this way to do it. I'll link her below if you're in the LA area. You should check her out if you want to not get normal braces. Dr. Courtney Ray is my orthodontist, so check her out if you're in the LA area. She's the one who really planned 
the whole thing, like coordinated with the surgeon and referred me to a surgeon even. Invisalign, of course, is super common. It makes your teeth look a little bit bulky because they have these little attachments to it. And because I drink coffee, mine have gotten a little bit stained, a lot stained actually. It takes about a year to go through the Invisalign, but it's pretty easy. It's a little bit inconvenient because you just always have to be brushing your teeth. I carry these little Listerine tablets with me all the time, so you have to have it in like a lot of hours of the day. Like, okay, it's a little annoying, but I don't wanna complain because it is better than having normal braces. When you switch out the trays, you know, you're normally swollen for a day or two, I notice my face does puff up a little bit. It's very strange. After you've had the surgery, Invisalign feels like nothing. It feels so minor. <laughs> so that is really the only thing that I have to do now to finish this up. I don't even really have any more post-op appointments. I have a, a one year later one. It just feels like it's gone by really, really fast. And the whole thing feels just like a weird distant memory. Okay guys, so that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. Let me know if you have any other questions, if you're going to get jaw surgery or if you're just wondering in general, I guess. Um, I will try and answer them in the comments and check out BetterHelp. I'll have it linked down below. Remember, you can get 10% off with my code. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. I never ask people to like the video, but I probably should. I just, I just don't. Um, if you're wondering where I am, I'm actually in Monica's room. My sister, Monica, she also does YouTube. So that answers that. So that's going to be it for this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.